Chan is a principal at the principal at Communicara, a communi commercial semiotics and cultural insights consultancy based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. She has a doctorate in communication and semiotics at PUCSP University in Sao Paulo and has also studied media sciences at HBKBS in Germany. And her paper is entitled The Semiotic Layers of Instagram. Please welcome Marianne. Thank you so much. So, hi everyone. And I want to thank Sarah and Jeff and Charles and all the, the team. You are doing an amazing job. It's so social, this Semiofest semi this year. And I'm so glad to talk about social network, right? Yeah, uh, could I, yeah. Yeah, we have Marshall McLuhan here and a problem with medium. Ah, uh, it's PowerPoint, yes, this is why. Yes. Voila. Okay, now starting counting 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, this is our 60s time, and so Marshall McLuhan is talking about the medium is the message, but then, I, I'm just thinking about this uh, phrase, which is very important also in Brazil, but maybe now the mobile is the message. Huh? Th this image is from Business Standard. I don't know, Hamsini, if you know this. It's like Indian uh, newspapers, like marketing. Uh, and I, I thought, okay, mobile is the message could be a new ne a neologism, but they are using it already. And when we think about mobile, no? uh, just well, let's go again to this image. So Marshall and McLuhan are constrained in a mobile. We just think about yesterday, the uh, media and semiotics fitness that Marshall, Marshall Danese told us yesterday. And yeah, there's something going on in this. And when we think about uh, mobile, Instagram was the very first social network which was really made for uh, mobile and the most well-known. Uh, and this is something about Instagram that we can relate with semiotics. Uh, and Lev Manovich is an academic and an artist guy who wrote lots about Instagram. So you can find easily through internet her, uh, his papers. And one of those, he talks about Instagramism, which means a combination of media form and a, a point that uh, one of which po uh, points out in this uh, text, it's information contains in itself the word form. This is important for us, like uh, as semioticians. So it's a media form in particular content a narrow aesthetics with mixing up design, cinema, photography, and typology. What we have here, intertextuality. This is so important for us again. Another interesting point about Instagramism is that Lev Manovich tells us uh, that, that that has a specific mood and atmosphere, treating space in a different manner. This is important. Look those pictures. What we see here? Fragments. It's not the whole. Remember our beloved Marshall McLuhan? He was fragmented in the mobile. And this picture is interesting, just a uh, small uh, storytelling. Uh, in October 2015, I was in San Francisco and I said, oh, I'm going there. I need to find some semiotician really based in San Francisco. And then Ramona over there, <laughs> I, I, I just linked in, Ramona, we need to meet her. Uh, and we, we made it. After our meeting, I went to the Facebook headquarters to, to know how it was. And this picture was uh, taken there. So. This uh, was in 2015, but then, oh, oh sorry. I, I will show how, how changed this Instagram uh, perspective. But before, 
Instagram means it's also, uh, let Manovic say that it's also about futurism, surrealism, it's something similar, or Cubism, constructivism, Dadaism. So what it means in the early 20th century, uh, those uh, movements changed the way we see the world. So it was between the World War I and II, and that changed our, our mindset. And maybe Instagram is, is also changing our mindset nowadays. And this mobile messaging something for us. Here I quote another brilliant semiotician, which means Sonia Marcus. I love to quote everybody, you know. <laughs> and then Sonia uh, brings uh, the last year in Semiofest about uh, the metaphor of the concreteness of the old Instagram uh, logo and the el elasticity in the new one. If we see that last image that I show you in, in the Instagram headquarters in 2015, it was concrete. Wood, uh, very, um, I don't know, very concrete and stable. And if you see the new headquarters, sorry that I, I went, I not, not went to that, it's really elastic. Right? This is the, the old one. Now, we are talking about this elastic perspective of Instagram. <coughs> and why Brazil? Né? Talking about elasticity, why Brazil? Not, not, not because of that, okay? This was in 2015 that I, I presented in, in Paris. Whoa, whoa. So, in Brazil, we have a, a particularity about Instagram and social network in general. The time spent. Look at this, so interesting. We are the second uh, country in the time spent on social media. Sonia told me yesterday, uh, this is why you are so bad in economics. I agree. Uh, so just behind Philippines and if we see, yeah, Arturo and also Jimena, we are like friends. Like the Latin part are really social, right? <laughs> Look you, uh, Sarah, the Canadians and United Kingdom. It's like two hours difference. <laughs> but, but, look the Persian side of semioticians here. Japan, the, the, the next Olympic Games, three hours and three minutes difference. So, so such a Persian number, okay? Um, this, this can explain something about economics, but, but this is not my point. All right, uh, besides uh, time spent, we are talking about users, yeah. So we have just, just in Instagram, 45 million users. So we are the second uh, country or the second market in Instagram, uh, uh, according to TechCrunch, okay? It's not my, my number. This is an image of Instagram Brazil. Just take a look, brief, brief that deep. And when we are talking about uh, my topic is layers uh, in Instagram, which means visual and discursive structure in Instagram. As semioticians, we are talking about structure. And about structure, structure, we could say visual imagery, videos, photos, texts, uh, which mean discursive, captions, hashtags, emojis, ephemeral contents like stories, very close to, to Snapchat, geolocation. This is quite interesting, but, 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 but. Thierry, oh yes, I lost, I like, he brought us something about formulas yesterday. Uh, also, Teamstock bring us uh, mappings, now very interesting. And me bring, I, okay, brings. So this is, I just wrote it down here because Edward talked about attention, so pay attention. I bring toys, okay? Not, not, not formulas, but toys. This is the visual structure of Instagram, but but, 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 this visual structure is a thin layer, you know, an outer surface. When we have something outer surface, it's like wrap up, very thin. You can do like this. As semioticians, we usually do like this in this area because this is not important for us, 
We are uh, thinking about another things, intentionality. So after this outer surface, we have the, the toy here. And the uh, intentionality, it's a word that I just think a lot about this in my PhD, during my PhD, about photography. Uh, when we, we take a photo, we have an intention. And I'm not telling about the Husserl phenomenology, phenomenological concept. Could it be in a near future? I want to study more about this. It's not noema, noesis, but it's something that we want to share or do. But this layer, the, the first layer was really thin. It doesn't matter for us. This layer is flattened. I love the concept of flatness and floating in Adobe Photoshop, for example. Uh, and then what we, we need to do as semioticians, deconstruct, right? How you try to do like this? This is the layers. And the interesting point, Uh, I have rear, here six layers, like the six points that Edward bring us and the six pain uh, problems that the, the other presentation. So we are the six team, okay? Uh, and that six layers, the first one, it's about metonym. Now we are in the semiotics field, okay? Before it was like some uh, flatten it, uh, and about metonym, we are talking Jacobson, uh, quoting Jacobson, which means you, you, you take a part, a fragment. And when we think about Instagram, the first layer, that uh, semi semiotics layer that came to us, it's about metonym. This guy is Cezinha. He's very well known in Brazil as Instagrammer. And he has this concept of say hi to the water. This is pretty interesting because it's like a, an artist concept and he just, we, we see the fragment of his hand in a water, in a hest, a waste of water in the ground. This is metonymic, look. And uh, he used to do this very often. Who likes Instagram, you, you could follow Cezinha. So metonymical fragment, it's about Instagram. But we don't have only this layer, we have six. Metaform, this I'm quoting Marcel Donesi. He has lots of papers, uh, at least one, very well known. Metaforms, not only metaf metaphor, but a form uh, thinking about visual and colors and something. And metaform in Brazil, uh, we had right now this political situation, and this is made like colors. Colors present as metaphors about political. This is a, a post from Instagram, and he, he pu puts off the, the, the yellow and green are the right wing, and the, the red, the left wing. And he says here, we need some kind of caption that's not necessary. And about metaphors also, these uh, metaphors in colors or in other shapes, we have this uh, movement right now, the Fora, Fora Timur, Timur is our president right now, Fora Dilma, and this concept of Fora, I will not uh, extend this uh, right now, but metaphor in Brazil, uh, in Brazilian or Portuguese, is metafora. We have also here a metaphor in, in the text. And this is pretty interesting because uh, it's uh, uh, also a post in Instagram and they say, nem mais coxinhas, nem mais mortadelas, nesse momento somos todos pamonhas. Those, we, we already know, the, 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 the above is the left, uh, right wing, in the middle, the left wing, and there, everywhere, ev everyone. Uh, and all those metaphors are foods. This is interesting. So, coxinhas, it's like a tiny snack made by chicken. So, very posh. So, posh uh, is the, the right wing. Mortadella is like a ham, very popular. Very, it, it's a bit disgusting, actually. And then... It's the red wing uh, and the left wing, but every one of us, it's like a sweet 
like a, a pest uh, of uh, corn, like idiots. So this metaphor, it's like idiots, idiots. And about simulacra, another layer in Instagram. Baudrillard talks about simulacra, and I'm bringing you uh, the most funniest um, Instagrammer in Brazil, which is John Drops. John Drops always mocking up the celebrities, so Kim Kardashian or Beyonce, Emma Watson, and he makes the, the outfits. He copies the outfits like an ironic type, and Lady Gaga, also uh, Paris Hilton, so he always mocking up. Studio in Puncton, it's very interesting, Bartist uh, team. Uh, it's about uh, something that punctuates you, not only like studio, like obvious, something different in every image. We can see here the guy, it's like a punctum, a narrow in our heart. And when we, we do the, the, the heart, uh, put the, the finger in the heart, it's like an arrow. Paradigm syntagm, this is pretty interesting about Saussure. Uh, we are talking about in Instagram, uh, uh, until this year, 2017, we are just looking the images in a vertical way, like axis of selection, our who we are following, all right? But now, since February, we have this axis of combination. This is interesting. So we are not talking about only about following and selection, but also combinations, this new feature. And at least, uh, the re-signifying, this is about applying semiotics. Every project that we do, uh, usually, it's about we have a brand and we need to re-signify this brand. And I bring here this favela grafia, I will advise you to follow this or search on the internet because it's pretty interesting. Why? We are talking about a project with Apple, iPhone, and also another uh, agency in Brazil which calls No Bullshit. Uh, it's an interesting name. Uh, and they, they just realize how to change the perception of favelas. Huh? And this is some, something, uh, and this change is only through Instagram, only, and they, they take some artists from, from the favelas, and they do another kind of point of view from favelas. And after that, they, they see the shades and lights in those photos and create a new typography represent, representing each group, each favela. So this one, it's Babylonia. It's an, a favela name in, in, some, in Rio de Janeiro, which is very interesting as, as semioticians. And also Alemão, it's like German. It's one of the dangerous favelas in Brazil. This is about resignifying. So this is, I don't have any formula, but I have a frolicsome scheme of semiotics. So we have the outer surface. This is not important for us. It's like information. The integrated structure, but it, we as semioticians must to deconstruct, okay? Now it's your time to play. And I, I bring here something from Jamie Telkin in the, in the sem, uh, training session. Who missed it? Sorry, because what's really good, we are adults like big babies, okay? We, we act like babies or our memory is about me, uh, babies. And then here is, are my contacts. Thank you. And now I will play. So, Mark, uh -huh. I will give you. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is the Brazilian way. All right, that's right. The Brazilian way is the hug, not the handshake. <laughs> so thank you very much, Marianne. I think we can safely say this was the most high energy uh, presentation of the last couple of days, which is very good. We, I wish we all had a little of that uh, Brazilian, Brazilian brio. Um, so does anyone have any questions for Marianne? Chris, yes. 
Hi, I didn't have a question. I just wanted to say it was an amazing presentation. I love your energy. I think it was a fantastic deconstruction of a social media platform I'm not on <laughs> for reasons that are very good to do with not being um, distracted at work. Um, but I just thought the way you deconstructed it and the frolicsome layer, semiotic layer, I think was fantastic. I think it's really in keeping with the McLuhan theme of dynamism and not being too determinant about it and saying it's kind of this thing, but there are all sorts of ingredients you can have in it. And I just think it's a beautiful presentation. Thanks very much. Great. Thanks. Th this uh, reminds us uh, that our work is playful. Absolutely. It's true to, it's true to the work in the medium yeah. as well. So you have one. <laughs> I don't have anyone on <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like